What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today we're going to show you the best settings to use for Baldur's Gate 3 on your Steam Deck. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Moni Dab. Thank you for being a channel member. If you want to become a channel member and get shout outs and videos just like this, click on that membership button below. Nailed it that time. <laughs> Back into the video itself, what are the best settings for Baldur's Gate 3? I have been immersed in this game. I absolutely love this game and it runs great but it didn't run great when i first installed it and went through the character creator and um all that good stuff it was kind of low res it was upscaled it did not look clean so i went through changed some settings and it looks and runs much better so i'm going to go ahead and go over my graphic settings and show you what i'm using and as well what changes i might recommend because there are some changes i would recommend for a very smooth gameplay experience so We'll take a look as soon as it loads. So this is what the title screen looks like. We're going to go ahead and press continue here. You can see that we have already a good look at what the graphics will look like on uh, 800p, I guess you call it, not 1080p. All right, so here we are in a fairly populated area. Um, we can zoom all the way in and see the details so that we can really see how this is running. And you can see we're at about 29 to 30 frames per second. And uh, that's because I have my settings turned pretty far up, um, but you are not going to get 60 frames per second out of this game no matter what you change. But let's look at what settings we actually have here. So let's head over to video. So unfortunately, because I have this plugged into a game capture device, this is defaulting to 1280 by 720, but you'll want to change this by, to 16 by 10 and 1280 by 800 to reach the full resolution. Uh, the refresh rate you can leave at 60 hertz, and we can keep this at full screen. We can leave VSync at double buffering, and we're going to have the maximum frame rate at 30 frames per second. So we can change model quality to high, and detail distance to high, instance distance to high, texture quality to high, Try linear under texture filtering, animation detail high, slow hard drive mode off, dynamic crowds on, shadow quality low, cloud quality low, and fog quality low. And we're going to keep all of these the same. Uh, FSR 1.0 is off, sharpening is on, sharpness all the way up, anti aliasing is TAA, and uh, ambient occlusion is off, depth of field is Gaussian. Depth of field quality is quarter denoise, god rays are off, bloom is on, subsurface scattering is off. So let's go ahead and try it out with these settings. So you can see it's at a very solid 30 frames per second, jumping between 29 and 30. We can zoom all the way in. We get a very nice level of detail that's pretty sharp and clear. We can see everything that we need to see, especially at the 1280 by 800 resolution. It looks a lot better. Um, but yeah, I think this works really, really well. And it makes the game very, very playable. You can, of course, uncap the frame rate and get the full amount. But then you could risk getting some screen tearing or some lag trying to keep up with the full 60 frames per second. You're also going to push your GPU and get a little bit less battery life that way. So limiting the 30 um, will keep your processor and everything. It looks like the GPU is working its butt off here. So maybe not so much, but it will definitely uh, be a playable experience with the 30 frames per second here. And it's going to be just fine. Um, but you can definitely uncap that if you'd like but yeah that's it for this one these are my favorite settings for boulders gate 3 if you have a better suggestion please leave it in the comment section below <laughs> thank you so much for watching and have a great day Peace.